What's up, guys? It's me at Games. Welcome back to another episode of the Xenoverse. Last time we played as Dodoria, and we did, we did pretty good. We beat Gogeta and Broly. Like a, go, uh, huh. we beat Gogeta and Broly. You know, did pretty good. Uh, well, it wasn't a bad video, honestly. We did better than I thought we would, especially against that Broly. Like, bro, we kind of embarrassed him in that round. But today we're just moving on to the next character. So we're just gonna keep on going. Uh, honestly, I'm having like a lot of fun with this series, just playing as all the characters in the game. I don't think anyone else on YouTube has done this, which, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. It was my own thing I wanted to do, so we're just going to keep on going. Next up is the next character, which, honestly, I'm kind of excited for because he's kind of an underdog in this game. No one really uses him ever, and at one point, I forgot he was in the game, so you'll see who it is. Let's go. All right, so now we're fighting. Oh, wait. Oh. We're not fighting here, I guess. All right. All right, so now we're in a room with Khalifla, uh, a bunch of numbers. But, yeah, so today we're playing after Dodoria. We're moving on to Nail. Yeah, a Nail. The Namekian Nail. Yes, he is in this game. I legit one time, I forgot that he was in the game. Like, I actually forgot that he was a playable character in this game. Because, like I said, nobody uses him, including me. Like, I've, I barely use Nail, which... Yeah, I mean, I used him, like, kind of recently to fight against my friends a little while ago. But, yeah, I, like, legit forgot that Nail was a character in this game. And, oh, I've never seen that Turles sticker thingy. But that's interesting. I've never seen that. But now we're fighting against Perola, Saiyan, God of Destruction. Yeah, Perola. A Perola. I don't know. How, however they, this person says it. But, yeah, okay, this person was also, like, kept on, like, kicking me. Maybe it's because of my connection. But they kept, like, kicking me. I kept trying to find a new room, but I just kept ending up back at them, so. Yeah, Khalifla, one, two, three, four, three, one, seven. What are those numbers? Well, why are those the numbers you choose? Goodness. What? Okay, this connection. Not bad. Let's see those where I can pick. So I can steward. Die! There we go. Ow. Hey, let me give you a new thing. Yeet. Da. Da. Ooh, come here. Oh, spirit style. Okay. That's interesting. Ooh, okay. Oof. Wow, let me just keep flashing. Can I do die? Oh, I should not have knocked it that. Wow, that connected, okay. It was like way below it. And then that one didn't connect, huh? What is going on? Like, one of them connected that should not have connected. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is why they were kicking me, because the connection's really bad. But, like, for me, we had fine bars. Maybe that's why they kept connecting me. And I think they just accepted. I kept trying to find a room, and I just kept ending up back with them. So I think they were just like, whatever, at that point. Like, let's just fight. <laughs> I think they just wanted to play through that. At that e Oh, it connected. Let's go, Nail. That move is so satisfying to connect. Like, I swear. It was one of the best moves in this game. Like, it feels so nice to connect. I did not even realize that was his grab. What is that? I, got <laughs> I, I did not realize. I don't know. I thought he just had, like, the same grab as Piccolo or something. Wow, I, I really don't use Nail. I haven't seen people use Nail either. It's like, I didn't even realize that was his grab. I, like, wow. I did not know his grab was his grab. Just, just, I, I don't know. That's his, I really did not realize that that was it. He... That. Come on, can I get him with finger? There we go. Do it again. Let's kill with Namek Finger. There we go. Namek Finger to kill. There we go. Ooh, punch her straight in the gut. Okay, Nick. She's standing up. Wait, what? <laughs> she just kind of squared up with me, and then, like, you know, it was like, you win. All right, well, let's see if she'll keep me in the room. Uh, Maybe, maybe not, because they, they can actually be really bad in this room. But, all right, Nail. All right, Nail. You know, the lost character of this game proving himself worthy. All right, okay, Nail. Okay. But let's go. Yeah, Nail's fun. All right, and Goji. Uh, <laughs> What? What is that jump from Kak to Gogeta Blue? Just, alright, just jump straight into Gogeta Blue. I mean, another Gogeta fan, I see you. I mean, I think, unless they just think the character is good. But, I mean, like, even last video, I fought Gogeta. Like, what? Is, I don't know, what is it with me fighting all these broken characters? Just, just I don't I don't know. Uh, maybe the first I beat the pole. Right, Gogeta. Gogeta! Wow, looking at his combos, like, after, like, I saw, after he's been in Fighters, and I watched the... Uh, I don't know if y'all ever heard of a guy named iKevinX, but he does like the references to 
like the character's moves and combos and all that. So he did one with Gogeta. And like just watching him in Xenoverse, I recognize a lot of those moves. And so like it reminds me of a lot of stuff that was in the movie, and I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of the movie, recently, I think it's, did I mention this in the fighting video? I don't know, but um, recently, you know, the, the dub for Super ended, right? And it was like last week, or like this past weekend, I think, yeah. The, the, the dub for, did I say Super? I think I said Super, yeah, the dub for Super ended like this past weekend. And, you know, after the dub ended, I decided to go rewatch the Bowie movie, so now I'm like all caught up, everything Dragon Ball. The dub. I've already seen sub super, so like, you know, I already knew it was gonna happen and everything. But it was just still cool to see the dub. Only thing, my only complaint with the dub, like big complaint I should say, is the the music, man. Like all of the outros, there's only like a few of them that I liked. Ultimate Battles trash in the dub. Like, sorry, it's just bad. And if you like it, you've clearly never seen the sub version, because that Ultimate Battle in Japanese is way better than the dub. Just just so much better. I don't know why they did what they did with the Which, like, I was expecting them to just keep the Japanese version, because if you watch the Goku versus... Oh, I'm dead. But if you watch the Goku versus Hit fight back in the dub, they kept Chozetsu Dynamic, the Japanese version, so I was expecting them to do the same with Ultimate Battle. But no, they changed it, and it's so bad. Like, I don't know. It's just such a trash song in, in the dub. Like, it, it's terrible. I, I don't know what they did, but uh, they're gonna help me the next round. I'm gonna keep talking, though, but... Yeah, just, I, I don't know why it's so bad, and, but, like, people are saying they're hyped to get, like, or they're excited to get, like, the Blu-ray version and all that, so they can take the music out, put in Ultimate Battle, which I'm just, like, honestly saying, I gotta figure out how you get, I mean, I, I'm, there's pro there is a way to do it, I know that much, it's just, I gotta figure out what that way is, but, I mean, I, I can put it in my computer and stuff, like, computer has DVD players and all that, but, yeah, it's just, it's just, like, oh my god, Ultimate Battle is so bad in the dumb, like, it's actually disgusting, just, who, who approved of that? They clearly never seen the Japanese version, but yeah. But I mean, the dub overall, as a whole, it wasn't terrible. Like I won't say it's like the best, uh, most amazing dub I've ever heard, but it wasn't terrible. And they had like a lot of funny moments and stuff. Like it was good. I enjoyed watching it. I watched the entire show. You know, I watched every episode of the dub. I I have DirecTV, so I just recorded it, watched it on Konami every Saturday. It was nice. You know, I I do like the dub. It's not like terrible. Um. But, yeah, like, I, I did like a lot about the dub. Like, it was funny. Uh, I won't say I liked it better than the sub, though, but I did like the dub. Like, it wasn't bad. I, honestly, I probably would have liked it a lot more if the songs were good. Like, Ultimate Battle was, was good. But, I mean, the dub did have its great moments, though. Like, with the Ultra Instinct, the roars were all good. They also changed Ultra Instinct to Autonomous Ultra Instinct, which was just the dumbest thing. Like, it had some changes and stuff like that that they didn't like. The dub changes, you know. Okay, hey, can you like it? Hey. Oh, Ooh, the locked off. Oh, what was it? Oh, Mystic Flash? Yeah, locked off Mystic Flash. Let's go. And of course, action. I need to like, chill out. My time's getting better. Yeet. But, but uh, like chill out on the time shit. But yeah, the dub wasn't like terrible. It wasn't like the worst thing. Like I'd watch it again, and I would still enjoy it. It's just, you know, not like the best thing ever. They had like a lot of weird things that changed and stuff. Or, like a lot of things that didn't make sense. And they changed like the meaning of certain things from the Japanese version. Because they like misinterpreted things. Wow, that time skip actually hit me. But, but look at that. You see this? Like up 10 feet away, get a hit with the time skip. Did he just do an ult again? Yeah. Did you see that? Like the little box thing came up for the ult? I think they were trying to do an ult. I don't know. The connection is being really, really trash right now. But. Yeah, I don't know. They had a lot of weird dub changes and stuff, like autonomous ultrans. Oh, the connection's been lost. I'm gonna find a new room and then we'll keep talking about it. All right, we found a new room with Folksy Prism. Uh, the connection's still two bars. Wow. But uh, yeah, so let's just you know hop on in. Back to another round with Nail. But what I was saying is like the super dub isn't terrible. You know, it, it was really good. I enjoyed it, especially because you know I've grown up with dub and stuff like that. The dub wasn't bad, and they had, like, a lot of its good moments, but there were a few. What is it with me fighting Gogetas and Broly? Like, why are people just picking Gogeta and Broly again all of a sudden? Like, can I pause for, like, I don't know, like, just in the last few videos, I fought a Gogeta or a Broly, like, in each video, like, I'm pretty sure. Just, I don't know, people picking Gogeta and Broly again. Like, I get they're popular, but, like, 
if you watch my other videos, I haven't fought that many, especially not Broly. Like, I haven't fought that many Brolies, but it's just like now, today, people just decide to pick Gogeta Broly. Like, I fought a few Gogetas here and there. But, like, I haven't really fought many Brolies, and then now they're just like a million Brolies. Like, what? But, uh, yeah, back to what I was saying, though. The Super Dub wasn't bad, like, for the show, I mean. The movie, amazing. Like, the dub for that is amazing in the movie, but I don't know. The dub, this dub for the show just had, like, some weird changes and stuff, like Autonomous Ultra Instinct. I get it was to match the Lip Blast, but, like, come on, man. Like, I just hope that when Super comes back, honestly, I kind of want Super to be a symbol dub when it comes out. That'd be kind of cool, just so you don't have to wait for the dub. I mean, knowing me, I'm going to watch, like, like, you know, if it is a symbol dub, like, my hero is going to be. When it comes to Super, I'm probably going to, like, watch... The oh, my God. Chill out, bro. Oh, oh, my God. But knowing me, I'm probably going to watch, like, you know, an episode of the dub. and then Or, like, the dub... The subbed version of the episode and the dub version of the episode in the same day. Like, probably going to watch both. Which is why I kind of want it to be a symbol dub. Just so I don't have to wait for the dub later to come out. Watch it all right then and there. And, yeah, it just kind of gives it, like, some rewatch value, you know? Even, like, especially on, like, some banger episodes, just, yeah. And plus, then I can, like, be like, oh, I like this episode better in Japanese. And so, whenever you go to rewatch it, I'll just be like, oh, I just watch the Japanese version instead of this dub version. Or, like, vice versa, I'd be like, this episode was better dub. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, I kind of wanted to be a symbol dub. My heroes, my, with my hero, though, I don't really, like, watch both versions. Like, I kind of just pick one. Usually, ja okay, Broly, too. But, like, I just kind of pick one. I don't really, like, watch both versions of it, per se, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't. We hit him? We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him, but we're dead. Still got him, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, just... I don't know. I hope that when, yeah, when Super comes back, I kind of want it to be a symbol dub. You know, d Japanese and English version coming out at the same time. Because then I can watch both, and it's just... I don't know. Super, I don't think Dragon Ball's ever had a symbol dub, so it'd be interesting to see. Which, I mean, I could see it happening. I mean, if they do it with My Hero, why not with Dragon Ball, you know? But... Oh, does One Piece have a symbol dub either? I don't know, but that would be cool to have it as a symbol dub. But we don't really know much about Super, just the fact that it is going to come back. Which, no official announcement on that, by the way. And what was I talking about with Gogeta and Broly? Like, bro, everyone, after, like, literally, the dub ends and I rewatched the Broly movie. And then now here are all these Gogetas and Rollies coming back. Like, bro, what is happening? <laughs> it's like, did people just watch me? They, they were like, oh, he, he watching the Broly movie? We got to pick Gogeta and Broly. I'm pretty sure... I fought an Ultra Instinct, like, the week... Uh, oh, yeah, I oh, no, I fought a ton of Ultra Instincts during the Evolution Blue Vegeta video. Which, you know, I think I recorded that before the dub ended to, like, MUI. I don't know. It was just... Jeez, there's just been so many Gogetas and Rollies. Now. Is this it's gonna be the thing for this week? Just a bunch of Gogetas and Rollies? Like, geez. Or next week, I should say, too? Like, just jeez. There's so many Gogetas and Rollies. It's crazy. I guess that's just the thing, though. But, um... Oh, jeez. Ow. That hurt a lot. Whoa. Back up, back up. Oh, I thought I could fly into him. In it, though. Jesus Christ, though. Like, I don't know. Just fighting something good. But, yeah, just to finish up what I was saying about Super, though, it's just... Dub wasn't terrible. Could have been a lot better, yeah. Wasn't the worst thing, though. And, yeah, I just ho I'm just hoping that when Super comes back, it's even better than, you know, this Super. I wonder what they're gonna call it though. If they're gonna, cause, you know, every time there's a new show, they change it. Like, you know, it's not just Dragon Ball Super. Like, in front, it wasn't like Dragon Ball Z again when Super came back. Even though people like to call it Dragon Ball Z Super, it's not what it's called. But yeah, just they didn't just call it like Dragon Ball Z again. Is what I mean. So I wonder what the name's gonna be for the new show. Why did I do that? Was, I'm a stupid. I'm a stupid. I'm a, I'm a stupid. I'm actually a stupid. Just, wow. Not believe I did. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, he's a stupid too, though. That's fine. Oh, I try, I try to do the thing where I do this. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Ugh, I should have just done do or die. Man. Do right now. Yeet. Oh. Hello there, Gogeta. <laughs> I, I don't know what, why he did that, but he did it. And, you know, I'm just going to take advantage of it, obviously. I'm just going to let it go to waste, you know? Why did I, okay, maybe I will let it go to waste, because, you know, like that. Okay, and then that is cool. Oh. Ugh. Okay, just let me drop down real quick. Wow, okay, this looks like the Broly movie. 
for blasting you. Know, back to you. Oh! Back up. There you go. Honestly, start like that. That one looks. It should have a lot more blasts in it. Oh. Hello? Hello? What? Huh? What just happened? I don't know. Um. We're gonna do like one or two more rounds, but. What? Hello? What just happened? Are you, are you good? Xenoverse, you good? What just. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> like, Jesus. Uh, alright, well, let's, uh, keep going then, I guess? Uh, question mark? Like, I, I, I don't know. But, yeah, anyways, though, um, God, okay, yeah, just, WAP! <laughs> just, yeah, I don't know. And another Gogeta Blue, back at turn of power, just like the last round. So this will probably, I mean, we'll see how it goes, depending on the length of this round, it'll be the, la it'll be the last round. But it all depends on how long the round is and just, you know, all this other stuff. But, yeah, honestly, what do y'all think Super is going to... This is going to be the common question of the day. This will be a secondary question. But what do y'all think Super is going to be called when it comes back? And follow-up question. If y'all have been reading the manga, do you think it's going to follow the moral arc? Like, do you think that's what they're going to animate? Or are they just going to go completely original? Like, do you think they're going to not follow the manga at all? And you're getting two different stories with the anime and manga? Or do you think that continue at the moral arc. Honestly, I want them to go with the moral arc because I want the anime and manga to be following each other. You know? But I mean, at the same time, having two different stories would be interesting. It's just it kind of th like, it makes the Dragon Ball's canon even more weird. Which, you know, the Broly movie kind of connected the anime and the manga because the uh, Broly movie's canon to the manga too. So, that, you know, it connected them. But now if they, you know, connect the manga and the anime, within the manga, there's a whole part where like, it's basically like, go watch the Broly movie to understand what happens next. Because this is kind of like, what will happen after the Broly movie. That's what the Morrow arc is. Like, it, it comes after the Broly movie. Did I miss? Are you serious? Bruh. Just because I, I aimed it pro improperly. That would have been so clean, but... Um, no, but yeah, the Morrow arc comes after the Broly movie, which is why I want them to do the Morrow arc, because it'll connect the anime and the manga, finally. Because, you know, the manga basically had, this, it had the exact same story as what happened in the anime. It was just, you know, told differently. Like, like for example, the Goku vs. Hit fight... Instead of Goku just fighting, you know, you know, he like instead of fighting Hit, just going straight to Blue, he went God then Blue. And I, yeah, he never used Kaioken Blue in the manga. He just went God then Blue. So it's just, like stuff like that. Like they had some few minor changes, but like the main point was still the same. So I want the anime to follow the moral arc just to make, you know, canon and continuity make a little bit of sense. Because you know, if they go original with the anime, then it throws off everything. And it's like, unless we say the anime like. Like, let's say they go something original, but it's supposed to take place after the Moro arc. So it's like, well, I'm, I'm going off of, like, if the anime were to come back soon and, like, the Moro arc's still going. So if they say, like, the anime comes after the Moro arc, then it's just, like, I guess that makes it make a little more sense. Because then you have to read, you know, the manga and watch the anime. Yeah, I guess that'd be a good marketing move, sure. But it would just be kind of, like, weird. Why did I do that again? Oh, it worked! Bet! Hey! We got him with that! Let's go, Nail! All right, Nail! Um... Yeah, honestly, that was a pretty solid round, so I think I'm going to end off the video now. So, yeah, let's go back to the lobby. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, let me finish up what I was saying real quick, though. Just, um, yeah, basically, I want them to go and do the moral arc. I mean, they could either do the moral arc, or if Super comes back after the moral arc, they can pick up where the manga is right now. But, I mean, seeing the moral arc anime would still be cool. One thing I wonder, though, with the moral arc, because... In the manga for Super, they have different forms. Like, there's Mastered Super Saiyan Blue and, like, Completed Super Saiyan Blue or something like that. I don't know. They have different forms than Evolution and Kaioken Blue for Goku and Vegeta. And in the Moro arc, they use these forms. So I'm wondering if in the anime they're going to use those forms too. Or if they're just going to stick with Kaioken Blue and Evolution. Which, I mean, I feel like if the manga... Since the Broly movie... Because that's the thing. That's another reason why in the Broly movie there was no Kaioken Blue or Evolution. And there was no... Uh, there was no full power Super Saiyan Blue or completed Super Saiyan Blue, whatever those forms are called. They didn't have those in the movie, so that way it could be canon to both the Broly to both the anime and the manga. That's why they didn't have those in the Broly movie. So I'm wondering if like they're gonna um, if they're gonna like bring because what I think they should do is since that movie's canon to both, that means technically if they cross over. In the manga, Goku could use Kaioken Blue and Vegeta could use Evolution, and it would still make sense because, you know, the Broly movie connects the two, the anime and the manga. 
And then in the anime, they could use like the completed Super Saiyan Blue or the Mastered. And I mean, if anything, they could also make Goku and Vegeta like learn those forms before they use them. Like they could learn Kaioken Blue and Evolution in the manga, and then learn Full Power Super Saiyan and completed Full Power Super Saiyan Blue and completed Super Saiyan Blue in the anime. Like. I don't know. There's a lot of th different things they can do, but I do want them to like follow with the moral arc because I'm loving the moral arc so far. Like it's getting really good. I like it. So seeing and like just cer certain fight scenes and all that, seeing certain things animated would be so cool. And yeah, it would just be interesting to see how the anime takes it. But yeah, we're gonna end off the video now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video with Nail. Uh, if you did, drop a like, comment, and subscribe down below for the comment question of the day, though, not the other one that I asked about or that I asked earlier. Uh, so, for today's common question of the day, what is your favorite Namekian? And, if you had to choose a Namekian to be playable in Xenoverse, what would you pick? Honestly, I'd probably pick Kami. Just because, I don't know, I feel like, I would pick Kami or Demon King Piccolo. But, I mean, at the same time, Dende would be interesting. Just because he could be, like, a cool support character. Like, just, like, for healing and stuff like that. Like, he's not really strong. Like, if they could put Cyberman in the game, they could put Dende. But, like, he's not really, like, strong or whatever. I mean, at the same time, Dende's not a fighter, so. But he's not, like, strong, but he has, like, good healing powers and stuff, so maybe he just, like, can instantly revive people when they're down. Like, if you're doing an expert mission or something, you pick Dende, he can instantly revive people. Stuff like that. I feel like Dende would be cool in the game, but I would want Kami or Demon King Piccolo for sure. But, yeah, that's basically it for this video, so until next time. But anyways, anyways guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and... Until next time, I'll see you all later, and peace. Have a good day.